as a new and experienced dog owner or first-time Maltese owner, there's so much one can learn. One could say dogs are just dogs, but each breed has some specifics we need to look out for. Maltese dogs are surely one of the sweetest, cutest breeds out there. They are white, fluffy and love doing anything as long as it includes you. When we first got our Santi, we didn't know everything there is about Maltese. So today, we decided to share with you something we wish we had known. These are the 5 things to avoid when owning a Maltese dog. Jumping and walking the stairs too often. Maltese are a very energetic breed, quite suitable for agility competitions, but their small body is also fragile. Many Maltese dogs enjoy jumping up and down the furniture at home because they want to join you on the sofa. But they also like greeting you, jumping up when you come home from work. They really are powerful jumpers, reaching two or even three times their height. However, that is not too good on their legs. Their joints have to stop quite a momentum once they land. So if they repeat this too often, it leads to some serious health issues. Even more so as Maltese are predisposed to issues with patella and the ligaments holding the knee. If your dog likes to jump a lot, try to calm him down or at least let him jump on a soft surface like grass which absorbs and reduces the impact. Another great solution is a set of stairs or a ramp to help your furry friend access the sofa without jumping. And you can even improvise by putting a paper box or a pillow below the sofa. It will also serve its purpose. Using a collar and pulling on the leash. One of the biggest dangers of a collar is your dog choking. The collar can easily get stuck somewhere. And as your dog will try to pull out, he might as well strangle himself. It is also fairly dangerous using a collar when walking your dog on a leash. A small dog like a Maltese has a very sensitive neck. One strong leash pull could result in thyroid inflammation, crushed trachea or even a broken neck. Sounds really scary, right? Well, unfortunately, it happens more often than we think. Thousands of dogs actually die from collar-related causes. Using collars seems like the natural thing to do, but it is a thing of the past now. There are different types of harnesses available on the market, which will let your dog feel safe while still allowing you to hold him on the leash. Another great thing about a harness is that it often includes high visibility parts, which make it easier to spot your dog even at night. Forgetting about regular grooming. Whether you got your Maltese puppy for his fluffy coat, his cute face or his cuddly behavior, you will want to maintain his hair regularly, even if you do not plan to attend beauty contests and shows. It is also important to use quality cosmetics for the bathing. The hair of a Maltese is very sensitive and gets tangled, dry or colored easily. Any outside dirt, especially grass and sticks, will also easily stay in the coat and will be harder to remove if the coat is not maintained well. The longer the hair of your dog, the more frequently you will have to brush it. And the same goes for washing. Also, do not forget to clean the eye area well to prevent eye inflammation and staining of the hair around the eyes. That being said, it's usually better to use only lukewarm water to clean those eyes. Definitely do not try to use bleaching agents or any human designated products. For frequent washing of the coat, use hydrating shampoos and protective or detangling conditioners without too many chemicals. You may also want to try different brands to see which one suits your dog the best. Not feeding your Maltese right. As we mentioned, Maltese are all about the care. The better you look after your Maltese, the longer he will live and the more love he will give you. Wrong feeding habits are one of the most common health issues in these cute little babies. It's always good to consult a professional which types of food would be best for your puppy. The breeder from whom you are getting your dog should tell you all about his habits and things he should avoid, as they know what are his or her parents like. If you are getting a dog from a shelter, ask the staff everything they know about your new friend. Information is key. That way you won't need to try too many different brands and types of food and even may avoid some allergic reactions. In general, it is recommended 
to either home cook for your dog or buy handmade food or from smaller producers. This way you are more likely to know if the preparation process is right and the ingredients are well picked and the food does not contain any additives, food colorants and so on. As with human food, the diet is key to a healthy life. By the way, some of the best ingredients for a dog meal are turkey or chicken meat, heart and liver, accompanied with pumpkins and pumpkin seeds, spinach, dandelions, cranberries, flaxseed oil, zucchini, rice, carrot, cabbage and apricots. We guarantee you the food from a mixture of these ingredients will be super delicious and nutritious. Neglecting veterinary checkups. The last but not least are regular visits to the vet. Just like a small child, even a puppy or a dog has to see the doctor from time to time. In the beginning, they have to do their compulsory vaccination. And after that, have a checkup at least once every year. Since there are numerous diseases a Maltese dog can suffer with, it's important to get ahead and be prepared. A vet can also point you in the right direction in terms of taking care of your fluffy friend. Take your vet's phone number and ask about a possible 24-7 service near your home. This way you will know exactly what to do in any particular situation and won't have to panic when something happens at 3 a.m. The doctor will also do a thorough dental cleaning and see if all the teeth and gums are healthy. Maltese especially have issues with their teeth as some of their milky teeth do not fall out and must be removed surgically. All that being said, we always recommend doing your own research. Everyone has different questions and each dog might need different things. There is nothing wrong in asking a vet or calling a breeder or a shelter for additional information. After all, we are all talking about the well-being of the beings we love the most, our Maltese babies.